time. Governor Kate Brown is continuing to push to extend Oregon's K-12 school year to national standards, but it is a move that many administrators say is not a priority when it comes to tackling our state's education woes. Fox Falls Marja Martinez joins us live with how much of an extended year we're looking at and how much it would cost and, of course, who is going to pay for it. Marja? Well, it depends on the district, Pete and Liz. I can tell you that the Portland Public Schools estimates the cost could be up to $2.3 million, and that's per day. We reached out to the governor's office to see who's going to pay for this. I was told that uh, basically she's working with legislators right now, as well as the business sector, to come up with that funding, but that this plan is still in the preliminary stage. Governor Brown unveiled a $23.6 billion budget proposal in November that would include $2 billion for an educational investment plan, with that money going toward shrinking class sizes, providing educators with additional support, and much more. But the governor also proposed lengthening the school year to the national standard of 180 days. I kind of like my summer, you know, so I, I don't really think it's, it's okay to cut into it like that. Some parents say lawmakers should instead focus on other challenges. It's making the quality of school better instead of the, the quantity. Right now, Oregon only requires 900 instructional hours at the elementary and middle school level and 990 hours for high schoolers. Portland Public Schools says its school year is 173 days long. To extend the year one week, it would cost the district $16.1 million, according to a spokesman. Many districts share PPS's budgetary concerns. Let's say this pie is the budget. If $2 billion is allocated toward education, but the school year is extended, costing tens of millions of dollars, it could negate some of the benefit of having that additional funding. Still, there are some districts that support extending the school year statewide. Beaverton SD, which already maintains a 184-day school year, sent us this statement, saying in part, We've prioritized adding days because we know it makes a difference with student learning. In particular, we also know that from an equity standpoint, some underserved student groups would certainly benefit. And even some students say they could see the perks of an extended year. Maybe if we've got more yeah. time in class, we can do less homework and, uh, you know, just have some more free time outside of school. Of course, this is only a proposal, and the Oregon legislator actually has up until July of 2019 to approve it. We are going to continue to follow this story. We'll bring you any updates here in our newscast as well as at kptv.com. Reporting live in Portland, Marge Martinez, Fox for Oregon.